Frank's not here. Yeah, actually, we're not looking for Frank, Mrs. Russo. Would you mind if we came in? Let's keep this short. My meditation teacher's on her way. Okay, so then why don't you tell us what happened at Glitterati the night that Vince vanished? How would I know? Because you were there. What are you talking about? Vince had last dance playing. You thought he was going to propose, to cement, as it were, the union between your two families. But he couldn't go through with it. You couldn't handle the rejection. So as he left, you shot him in the back. Then again, in the face. You know, because it was personal. You guys have quite the imagination. Your brother knew that Vince's murder would trigger a mob war. So he used his access to concrete to make Vince disappear. After that, you hitched your wagon to Frank. But his tenure as head of the Bianchi family was disappointingly brief. You can't prove any of this. All you've got is a story, now get out. If it is just a story, then you wouldn't have hired a hitman. Robert Decker decided that he didn't want to die in prison, so he rolled on you. He told us that you paid him to kill Harold when you found out he was talking to the cops. And here's the funny part. Oh, maybe not so funny to you. Nobody, including Harold, knew you killed Vince. If you had just left Harold alone, it would have stayed that way. Maria Russo? You are under arrest for conspiracy to commit murder. Let's go. I wish Vince had just said yes to her. Maybe then he'd still be alive. <laughs> <laughs>